Greetings, Prince of Peace family, friends, really anybody watching this. Uh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I just wanted to share a, a quick little devotional thought with you as you prepare to hopefully celebrate it with friends, uh, family, uh, to rejoice in God's goodness and to return thanks to Him. Uh, I've been thinking about this recently as I get older, and it, it seems strange, but I almost feel like as you get older, you feel like there's less to give thanks for. And I think the reason for that is because we are looking ahead in our lives. And as we age, we realize we don't have as much time left here on earth, and therefore there's less to give thanks for. So as you kind of go over the hill, you, you look back on life and say, well, my life is half over. And so I only have so much time left. I don't have a whole lot more as much to give thanks for as I did when I was in my 20s or my teens or when you retire. I only have, you know, this this much time left. And we're constantly looking ahead and thinking about what we don't have or how little we have. And therefore, we have so little to give thanks for to God. And the irony of that is, is it's really the exact opposite, I think, of what we see in the scriptures. And Psalm 90 is a psalm that's been on my mind, and it's a, the psalm that is written by Moses, and the whole psalm has to do with time. And, and so just a couple of verses from Psalm 90. Um, Moses begins this way uh, early on. He says, uh, Before the mountains were born, you brought forth uh, the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. This idea of before time, how long has God been around? How long uh, has God been planning out and creating and laying the foundations of the earth? From everlasting to everlasting, he is God. A couple of verses later, he says, For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by or like a watch in the night. So this idea that time to God is different than time is for us. Uh, a, a few verses later, he says, All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a moan. The length of our days is 70 years or 80 if we have the strength, yet their span is but trouble and sorrow for they quickly pass and we fly away. Moses is, is real and honest about what, what human life looks like uh, on this earth and how challenging and how difficult it is. And again, I think as we age, we start to feel that and see that. Um, and, and as our time gets shorter, uh, again, so do maybe our reasons to give thanks to God. But the verse that I've I, I really been thinking about is um, verse 12. And, and Moses writes this, he says, Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Have you numbered your days lately? I, I, the first time in my life I've ever done this. I heard somebody talking about this a, a week or so ago, and it got me thinking that, have you numbered your days and we all know our age, we know how old we are, and we do this by years, um, and yet I've never sat down and numbered my days. And I'm 15,289 days old today. And I don't know why that makes such a difference, but when you actually look back and you number your days, it kind of shocks you. I did this with my kids. I asked them, uh, how old are you? And, and they, they told me their ages in years. And I said, but do you know how many days old you are? And they looked at me like, no. And, and I, I, I calculated this, and I would encourage you to do this. There's websites, just Google how old, how many days old am I? And you can calculate days, weeks, months, years, tell you how many days till your next birthday, things like that. And, and my... My nine-year-old daughter looked at me when I read off how many days old she was, and she said, I'm old. And she'd never said that in her life. When you break it down into days, you see, here's how many sunrises and sunsets. Here's how many sleeps and how many times I woke up. And, and the purpose of this, to number your days, I think, is to look back on it and say, not how little time I have left, 
but you look back on it and say, how many days has God given me? And not only the number of days, but then you realize that every single one of those days were days that God has been with you. Every single one of those days are days that God has sanctified your life that he has sheltered with his love and his care and his protection and his preservation. Because if he hadn't, then you would not see the next day. And so my encouragement would be, and I think this is Thanksgiving, it, it's such a challenging time for so many people because so many would look at it and say, I have so little to give thanks for. But the reality is, as a Christian, and there's so many passages in the Bible that talk about this, that we have... Give thanks to God in every circumstance, in all situations. Why? Because look at the, the number of days God has given you. And when you see those days and you remember that the Lord has been with you in every single one of them, it changes your perspective about God's patience with you and God's love for you and his care for you and even the the work that God has accomplished for you and, and, and can cause you to look ahead and give thanks to the God, uh, to God for, for whatever plans and purposes he has for you going forward. That every single one of those days are days that God has marked out in his book of life. That God knows the days that he has ordained for you before the creation of the world, days for you to be here and now and, and surrounded by the people that you have to be filled with his love and his forgiveness, um, to, to, in the span of those days, come to, to, to the knowledge of this, this wisdom, to gain a heart of wisdom. And a heart of wisdom is a heart that knows it is cloaked and covered with the blood and righteousness of Jesus Christ. That for 15,289 days, the Lord has been watching over me that he has protected me and preserved me and filled all of those days with blessings from his gracious hand. And most of those days are days that I don't remember. Days that I couldn't tell you what a good thing or a blessing was that, that God gave to me, but he can because he ordained that day and he numbered my days. And, and, and for all of that, what a reason to give thanks. God, I thank you for 15,289 days. Now, now, for some of you, that isn't going to seem like a lot of days. Um, calculate yours, number your own days, see what they are. For others of you, it may seem like a lot, like a lot of days. Um, but either way, I think it's just a different way to look at your life and, and a different opportunity to give thanks to the God who has numbered them all before you were ever born. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. The Lord who has numbered my days and given me this many of them, um, days in which I can grow closer to him, be found in his grace and in his righteousness. And therefore, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what's going on in my life, that, that's what the world struggles with. I don't have, or I missed out on this, or I look at my life and I see there's not a whole lot to give thanks for. The Christian, you, have a reason, have multiple reasons every single day to give thanks to your gracious God. I have over 15,289 of them. Those are, those are my days. What are yours? And as you look back on those and you recount the numerous days and blessings that God has showered on you in Christ, I pray that this Thanksgiving for you and, and however many more Thanksgivings the Lord has in store for you, you see this as an opportunity to give thanks to the God who is good, whose love and mercy endures for you forever. God be praised. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I hope to see you again soon.